So I think uh, most of the country is familiar with what we're going through right now. We have this Arctic blast coming down all the way down to Texas and we're, uh, we're raining a little bit today. Uh, we have uh, flood warnings, but so far so good. It's supposed to rain through tonight into Friday, but the problem is we're going down to nine degrees tonight, eight degrees tomorrow night, 14 the next night. So preparation is necessary. So here's where our first goose and the two ducks stay. I tried putting the two new geese in there last night and they kept attacking the others. So in our little hay storage area here, I've cleared the front and put thick straw. So the two big geese will go in there. Uh, hopefully they can keep warm, I believe. And this uh, hollow plastic wall, so it should be some insulation to turkeys. Kind of worried about, so I just finished putting a tarp over top so they can have a dry area and they're choosing to stay out. And then under here is the wooden box full of thick straw. They can go inside this wooden box to keep warm. And then back there, the goats have a, a dog house and a little igloo inside there. The hay is hanging inside and then I put a tarp on the door so I can close the door and keep the cold air out. Goats can go 20 below in a three-sided enclosure, so they should be all right. The point is you have to prepare for war in time of peace. Um, before it gets too cold, you know, I've been out here for a while, put all this netting on top so that the turkeys don't fly away. And uh, I'm responsible for their lives. You know, it's not like you can say, oh, well, if they die, they die. The Bible says the righteous considers the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So I think uh, we should definitely consider human life and even animals' lives. Uh, we're responsible for them, but how much more we're responsible for our brothers and sisters in Christ watching after them. Uh, yes, we are our brother's keeper and we are also responsible for the lost around us. The Great Commission is to go out and spread the gospel to every nation, to all people. And uh, I'm afraid sometimes that's on the back shelf and uh, people are dying and going to hell and uh, we're not preparing. The Lord's coming soon. People are also getting older and people are dying and people are dying of other causes, young. But where is the church in fulfilling the Great Commission? Not out of duty, but out of love. The same love of the Christ who died for us on the cross, who took a beating so badly before he went to the cross, they beat every bit of skin off his body. They beat muscle off his body. He had organs showing, ribs showing for our healing. And then he took all the wrath of God for sin upon himself on the cross and died a horrible, horrible death, crying out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He had to bear separation. That's love, but where's our love for the lost world?